This year on Remembrance Sunday, I will be present in Bexley Heath, uh, sharing there with the churches and with the borough of Bexley in their Remembrance Sunday observation. But today I'm filming at the Royal Engineers Museum in Brompton within our diocese. A reminder in itself of the range of contributions which are made in times of war by people with a huge range of skills. And today the Royal Engineers here continue to teach soldiers a wide range of engineering skills and trades which are useful not only in their military service but actually in their wider lives when they leave military and go back into civilian life. And here I am standing beside a harrier. It's actually rather an uncomfortable place to stand because we know that here is uh, awesome technology in terms of its age uh, developed in order to wage war. But it does remind us of the range of skills which are in our armed services, not just within the military services themselves, as with pilots, as with engineers, but also those who design and build these things and the contribution of technology to our wider life which emerges out of warfare is one of those strange paradoxes that out of things which are designed for warfare, for destruction, let's be blunt about it, for killing, emerge technological advances which benefit humanity in all sorts of other ways and we hold that sort of ambiguity in our thinking and in our praying on Remembrance Sunday. We are of course in 2017 and we're still in this period when we are remembering especially the Great War and the 100th anniversary of it. Uh, but on Remembrance Sunday we also remember other conflicts and here behind me is a fragment of the Berlin Wall erected in the early 1960s by the East German government to stop people escaping to the West, that division between East and West which was one of the unlooked for byproducts of the Second World War. This wall eventually of course came down in 1989 but it's a stark reminder to us of the effects of warfare on civilian populations and indeed on the social and political geography of whole parts of the world. That division of Europe into East and West which lasted for uh, several decades following the Second World War had marked effects on aspects of our common life, on our relatedness to other nations and those continue to reverberate in different ways and remind us to pray as it were into those human divisions between nations and to pray for a proper kind of relatedness and connectedness between the nations of humankind. Also here are stories of individuals uh, on display. It reminds us of the human scale element of warfare and of military service. These are people's sons, their daughters, their husbands, their wives, their friends, their neighbours. There are displays here about the Royal Engineers' work in peacekeeping, in building up communities after warfare. And that's as important as anything else that they do. And so again, we are reminded to pray on Remembrance Sunday for the individuals, for the people, for the lives which are reflected in this display, for families, for friends, for neighbours, as we pray for those who are serving in our armed services. And so as we come once again to this Remembrance season, we hold in our prayers this world which we believe God has entrusted to us. We pray for its peace, we pray for the places of tension, we pray for the places where there is current warfare, we pray for the places where military personnel from this nation and others are currently deployed. We pray for our politicians as they engage over issues such as the Korean Peninsula and other places of tension. And we pray for ourselves that we may play our part in building communities which are places of peace and places of relationship and connectedness between peoples. But most of all, of course, we remember today and in this season those who have died in times of war and their families and those who continue to treasure their memories.